Hi, I'm Jessica Beck from All Ears English and the podcast IELTS Energy. And today I want to talk to you about um, the IELTS map and process questions. Now, specifically your vocabulary score. The biggest danger in these questions, and I see it all the time with IELTS students and candidates that they mess this up. If you copy too many words from the question that's given to you, your vocabulary score goes down because the examiner needs to see your vocabulary. If you're using vocabulary from the picture, then it's not yours. Your vocabulary score goes down. You need to show the examiner that you are able to paraphrase. All right? So, in a process, for example, if it's a flow chart or a nature diagram, all of those labels that they give you, try not to copy them. Especially if it's a word you don't know. If you don't know what it means, don't use it in your essay because most likely you'll use it wrong, right? You don't know what the word means. So instead, try and look at it and describe it in your own words the best that you can. That is the only way to raise your score. Also, if you do know what the word means, don't copy it either, unless you have to because you can't think of another word. But it's better to use more simple words as long as they're yours. All right, that's the only way to get a six or higher for vocabulary. Of course, if you want to get a seven, you need to use more interesting vocabulary, right? So I'm gonna give you a couple um, synonyms today for some very common words that you see on these types of questions. A process is often about some sort of manufacturing, like a product being made. Um, so instead of make, <laughs> you could say fabricate produce, manufacture, or create. Now, write these down as I tell you, all right? Write these words down. Um, also, when you write them down in your vocabulary notebook, please try and use them in your own sentences. All right, that's the only way you're gonna remember these words. So, instead of make, you can say fabricate, produce, create, or manufacture. Also, on the map questions, um, a very common thing you see on these maps are um, houses, right? So instead of saying houses, you could say dwellings, residences, residential area or residential neighborhood, or you could just say homes. Remember, you don't have to use amazing fancy vocabulary every time you're paraphrasing. You just have to use your own words. All right, so please watch this video a couple times, write down the synonyms that I gave you, and use them in your own sentences. All right, thank you so much for watching today, and I hope this helps you increase your score on writing task one. For more tips on how to increase your score on all parts of the IELTS exam, please visit my website, ielts.allearsenglish.com and check out our new online course, The Three Keys IELTS Success System. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.